Hey guys, so today I will be doing another Schlake barn tour. So yeah, let's just get started. So right here we have our sign, which says Shooting Star Stables, which is the barn name, and we do English Western riding camps for summertime only boarding and leasing, and it just has a little horseshoe right there. And then to the left of the sign, um, we have a horse statue, which is actually a Bayala horse uh, with a lasso around its neck. And then right here we have our lesson horse sign, which I really need to change. And sorry for that vacuum noise in the background. My mom is vacuuming. So here's our lesson horse sign, which is not accurate at all. Actually really wrong. So to the right of our sign, we have two buckets with lead ropes in them, a pitchfork, uh, two little saddle pads or something, and yeah. So to the right of uh, these blankets and this random top, uh, we have our cow. Um, I just got this cow, and uh, her name is Milky Way. And she's just brown and white. And right there we have, I believe her name is Sierra. Yeah, her name is Sierra. And she's just, ow. She's just um, getting a fence uh, for a jump. And we oh, actually have two fences right here that are used for jumps. So right here we have Ruby's stall. And Ruby is my... Arabian mare, and she's really adorable. And she has a hay thing right here and a pail of water right there. So here's Ruby. She's really beautiful. And her full Pablo. And they're in their little stall. And they have two purple ribbons right there. So right here behind the door, we have uh, a flower pot. And on the other side, we also have another flower pot behind another door. And right here we have a little bag of oats for the horses. Oh. And here's a place for you to tie up your horse or pony. So going into the main barn, sorry about the weird lighting, it's kind of kind of dark in this corner. So here's the main barn. barn. It has uh, four stalls and um, it has one, two, three stallions and two mares with two foals. So if we go inside, to the left we have um, Henry, my uh, Welch Pony Stallion, and Copper, my uh, Briar uh, Paddock Pals, my dream horse thing. So it's not a Schlake horse, but it really looks like a Schlake horse. And they have um, hay right there and water somewhere around here. It might have fallen off the wall or something. Oh yeah, it's down there. So, right here we have Star, um, one of my customs, uh, and her full Coco. And they have uh, food and water. So, I forgot to mention um, this. Sorry. Um, there's a saddle rack right here which the saddle and bridle is being used um and a sign that says do not feed the horses unless you are asked to do so so across from copper henry coco and star we have these two stalls which are very dark because this is a very dark corner but right here we have i'm very sorry about the shaky camera i'm at a weird angle. So right here in this stall we have Wildfire, my uh, Mustang Stallion. Let me put it in the light. There it 
here. Here's my Mustang Stallion. He's really cute. I've been wanting to put him in my barn for a while, but I just, like, never had room to put him in there. But now that I took Legend out, and I also forgot to mention, right there is our dog. Uh, but he doesn't have a name. Okay, so, sorry about the drastic lighting change. Um, I finally got my lamp all set up. So, we just did um, these three. Now, let's move on to Matilda. So, this is Matilda's stall and her full uh, wind. And I don't have a show name for like any of these horses. So um please let me know down in the comments below what to uh show name these horses. So this is Matilda, my English thoroughbred mare. And she's really pretty. Um so yeah, she was one of my first models along with um Star and I think that's about it. <laughs> um, well, not about it, but you know. She was one of my first models. Uh, first Schley courses, I should say. So yeah, and here's Matilda's full wind. Um, his show name is actually Windbreaker. So yeah, just thought I'd um, give him a show name. Because uh, I like the idea of the name wind with the show name windbreaker i don't know if i mentioned before because like i was gone for like an hour or two uh while i was editing this video or while i was recording this but here's the um western saddle and bridle and their hook okay so coming out of the barn and right here um we have uh, my Andalusian stallion. Uh, what's his name again? Oh my gosh, Spirit. His name is Spirit, and um, he is wearing a brown plaid blanket, and he's really pretty. In case you guys haven't seen him yet, this is uh, Spirit. So he just goes in this stall and he has a grass bale thing and a jolly ball, a purple jolly ball. And I just use the uh, super bouncy balls that you get out of like the machine, the like Buffalo Wild Wings or something. So, and his gate can open and close just like this. So moving on to over here. Um, we have John getting his tack, getting ready to, uh, tack up one of his horses. I'm not sure which one. Well, not one of his horses, but one of the horses. So, um, here's the western saddle and bridle. And here's the rider that goes with it, John. So right here, next to spirit we have um this is madison uh and she is just watching uh and, uh sorry about all the background noise that you just heard um and uh his picasso's gate can open and close this way okay so right here we have sadie and she is petting our unnamed cow so yeah he is uh, my first animal that I got into in this uh, barn besides horses and people and a dog. So yeah, um, I got him in a blind bag. Okay, so um, we're going to move on to like the across from this area. We're gonna go around and we end up right here and sorry about the very very light uh thing right here it's really light over here because my lamp is 
right there up there. It's like right next to this area. So, uh, right here is where we keep all of our jump storage. So right here we just have a container for a jump because I didn't really have any paper towel, uh, toilet paper rolls. So right here is like a little cavaletti thing. And then we have uh, two jump standards right here with poles in them and another two jump standards right there again with poles in them. So right here we have, um, her name. Oh, Sophie. Her name is Sophie. I keep forgetting people's names, so I, I wrote them down, like, on the bottom of their stands. So there's Sophie teaching, um, giving a lesson to Katie, who is riding, um, Angel, my Arabian mare. My white Arabian mare. And they're just going over this little pole right here. So, moving on to right behind uh, Sophie, we have our uh, uh, tack stalls slash grooming stalls. So right here we have a really small one. This is for like the smaller horses. Um, it, it used to be the wash stall, but I lost the hose. Um, and right here we have just a horse tack up stall, grooming stall, and it has a bucket. Peppy, excuse you. It has a bucket and it has a white grooming, uh, a white soft brush and a blue curry comb in it. And that goes on the side of this grooming stall. And in this one, we have uh, a, another little box. Um, and this one has a um, reddish, uh, curry comb and a black hard brush. And that goes at the back of the stall right here. And we can also use these as like actual stalls uh, if we get like new horses or something, temporary new horses. And right here uh, we have some uh, neck reins or it can be used as like a halter. You, you just need to like wrap it around the horse's neck, uh, head like a million times. So yeah. So right here is our stallion barn, which I made out of uh, a goldfish uh, box. And right here we have Onyx, my Frisian stallion, and Apollo, my Tinker stallion. And here is, um, they each have like chains, but they're not really chains, they're actually string. But he's wearing a green halter and a brown plaid blanket, and he's wearing just a tannish halter. So right here we have Savannah um, opening his stall, and right here we have Rebecca opening his stall. Okay. So. Oh, and they each have little food buckets right there in the back of their stalls. So right here we have just a random table with a hedgehog on it, a plate and a cupcake, a coffee mug and some apples. And underneath that, we have a crate with carrots and apples. So right here, we have Angel's stall and she has some apples in here. It's not really a stall, not really a stall. It's just like a little paddock. So, yeah. So, over here we have uh, our mare barn, and this opens and closes, but it doesn't really open that well, and it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really close that well, it just normally stays open. So, right here we have Raven, my uh, mm, Frisian mare, and Daisy, my Nabstrup mare. And right here we have some uh, a saddle and a bridle and here is a purple lead rope so going in front of the mare barn we have our little uh, donkey paddock and uh, neither of these donkeys have names so um, please let me know down in the comments below what I should name them so 
right here we have uh, Bethany um, just like going out to pet our uh, donkey and right here we have uh, Bethany's tack uh, our um, Western <laughs> saddle and bridle sorry so right here we have another mare barn which is pretty cool I just made this one today um, so the top because I didn't want to like have to cut the whole top off just folds up just like this so I just made that today I thought it was a pretty cool idea so I'm just going to take it out a little bit so that the top will stay open okay and in this mare barn we have two mares um, this is wait she doesn't have a name I have a lot of unnamed things in this barn so here is um, just like I don't know what breed she is, but I got her in an advent calendar. And right next to her is Skye. And she's my uh, American Quarter Horse Mare. And she came with uh, Bethany and the Tack, Western Tack. I will probably be doing like a tutorial on a barn soon. Uh, it just can get a little bit tricky. So, yeah. Um, especially this barn because like I had to make the divider like the right uh, size because I wanted a little bit of room right here for like a mini tack room. Uh, but I realized that the mini tack room wouldn't work because the doors had to open and close. So and the saddles would get in the way. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.